action. 248 years ago, a group of rebels came together to fight against the world's superpower. And 248 years later, the United States of America is still the most powerful nation in the world. And we wouldn't be this powerful if it wasn't for you, the greatest American alive. Everything that you do contributes to the success of this nation. You go to work, you clock in, you sacrifice your life for this economy to be great. And so when I look at the American people, I tell them that the history of America is we don't sit back and be still and allow any type of dictator to tell us what we can and cannot do. No, instead, the legacy of America is that we tell powerful organizations, powerful entities, you will do what we ask you to do or else we will do whatever it takes to defend freedom. I don't get complacent because I live in the safest place in the history of the world, hell no. I stay vigilant. I know that freedom is progressive. That means that I must be always on the defense to defend my precious freedom. What is my precious freedom? I can say whatever I like and you can't stop me. And if you try to stop me, my freedom is that I can defend my words with my hands. That's the battle for freedom every single day. I think so many of you so-called American patriots, American citizens, you forget that violence is a key component of freedom. If you're not willing to sacrifice your life for the thing that you believe in, you don't believe that thing. And I'm asking the American people to continue to believe in the American dream. And what's that? That when American citizens work together, we can have the most powerful, the most prosperous nation that the world has ever seen. We've already shown this. And now the goal is to hold that thing together. How do you hold America together? You hold America together by holding your elected officials accountable. Man, I don't want no corpse to be my president. But how is that a reflection of the most powerful nation in the history of the world? When you call a person the commander-in-chief, the commander-in-chief should be able to roll up his sleeves and go and kick somebody's ass. Can this current person kick anybody's ass? Better question. Can this current person wipe his own ass? I'm talking about being powerful. And I'm talking about 248 years of power. That should get you excited. If you tell me all the things that America did wrong, I can look at you and the fact that we're having this conversation and I can show you more than 248 ways that America has gotten this right. You know, this is a learning thing, right? We new to this power thing. America is the new kids on the block. We trying to figure it out. But if the American people don't give America the nation guidance, then we're all lost. If we forget that this whole thing is based on courageous men being willing to go and fight the most powerful entity that the world had seen at that time, then we're all lost. And I don't want to be lost. And I don't want to be weak. I think that the American man, you deserve to be strong. And the only way that you can be strong is if you take your own precious freedom in your hands and you hold tight to it. You hold it like it's your lover because without this precious freedom, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> You'll be China, you hear me? You'll be Russia, you hear me? And you'll be a lost nation. The greatest American alive. Y'all are out here sucking presidential tallywhacker acting like an 80 year old man is gonna save you. You gotta save yourself. You gon' vote for old Sleepy Joe. Fucking bitch ass nigga, whole ass nigga, cocksuck ass nigga, I punch in your eyeball, bitch. Fuck you.